Hi everyone, I'm Andre uh, from Immunant and I'm going to talk about uh, our experiments on playing with the Clang AST from a plugin. But first I will talk about a little bit about the background project that caused uh, these experiments, which is our C to Rust project, an open source C to Rust automated transpiler, uh, which we put up on GitHub. It even has a website, c 2 Should be easy to remember, so please try this out, play with it if you're interested. Um, you can even download it and uh, run it yourself. So, what what is uh, what we implemented in C to Rust? It's actually a pretty complex project with a lot of components. Uh, the ones that are interesting here are first first of all the Clang based uh, C parser, which uses. Um, so we take the Clang AST, dump it to disk, and then uh, com convert it to Rust code. And then the actual topic of this talk is the Clang plugin, which we use to insert instrumentation. And for that, um, let me show you a bit about uh, what we do with it. So once we transpile a C function into the equivalent Rust code, we want to check if they are uh, identical, if they work the same, or if we inserted any uh, any divergence, any differences in how they behave. So to do this, we check at runtime if they behave the same. So we want to first check if the same functions are getting called and with the same arguments and return values. And the way we do this is by inserting both into the C and Rust code, we insert instrumentation at compile time and then we check that instrumentation at runtime with these X check calls. So we, we insert this instrumentation and at first it seems, okay, we could do this in the compiler. We could have Clang and Rust do this, but instead we opted to use compiler plugins. So basically well, what we did is we wrote a Clang plugin that inserts uh, statements and expressions and new functions into the Clang AST and then passes it back to Clang, which turned out to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, and I will basically show uh, in w what ways. And we had several fixed requirements that we, we needed from Clang and from our plugin. One being to add new statements, then create new functions. And the reason these were challenges is because it, in, at least in, it's my impression that in the Clang community, the AST is considered immutable. So we're, we're not supposed to touch the AST, but we kind of had to. So, also, I want to here. I want to thank one of the reviewers for pointing us to Tree Transform, which is a library that converts, uh, basically mutates the AST. But we just we couldn't use it because it's in Tree. So first of all, I said we want to add new statements um, to functions. And even though at first it may seem that's not possible, it turns out it is possible with certain restric restrictions and caveats. And Essentially, we did it by just replacing whole function bodies. So we took a function, built a new body for it, which encompasses the old body plus our instrumentation, and then just passed it back to Clang with set body. And that worked out fine. Second problem was we wanted to add our own new helper functions. There's no direct way to pass them back to Clang, but uh, we actually managed to do it with a little bit of a hack where we grab the AST consumer and just force feed our functions to it. And then a third thing we wanted to do is, so we needed to add attributes to functions and expression. And this actually turned, turned out to be a little bit of a challenge because first we tried pragma, pragmas. They didn't work for um, a few reasons, basically, eventually would have needed, we would have needed to modify the compiler itself. Then we tried C++ 11 attributes. That didn't work for basically the same reason and would have been nice if we got this working. And then basically what we settled on was um, attribute annotate. And this is a little bit ugly, but it turned out to work really well, um, ignoring that we have to parse our own configuration settings as strings. And basically we got we got all of that working and as a bonus feature that we got working was we needed to force initialize all of our locals to zero. If anyone ever wants to do this in a Clank plugin, here's how you do it. It's like four lines of code. And that is it, thank you.